Hello everybody, this is Tron Cooper here, and I thought I'd just make a quick video on a cool little tutorial thing. Uh, it's mainly going to be about a sort of reverb tail effect at the beginning of your samples or vocal samples or whatever. So, I've already pulled up a vocal sample here, and I'll show you how it sounds. So that's that. And we're going to make a cool little reverb buildup coming from the sample to make it sound cooler. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is get reverb. Mess around with the uh, decay time and diffuse depending on what you want. Always put the quality to high. And you can mess around with it here. A few inches later. What you're going to do now, when you haven't flattened it or freezed it, reverse this. So it sounds like this. That's pretty hilarious. So <laughs> what you're gonna do now is highlight this, go to freeze track, highlight it again, up to where this little uh, dashed line goes up to, flatten, and I'll get this. So right where this thing cuts, right here, you're going to get this, set it off the side, get the original sample, reverse that so it's, now it's the original, reverse this, and connect the two. I don't know how that's going to sound. And there you go. And that's how you would do a cool little reverb tail effect. Obviously, I could have spliced it better. There should be like a thing in Ableton where six and a half hours late. That's practically perfect. So there you go. I'll give you another last little listen. And there you go. That's the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. It's extremely simple. Yet it sounds amazing. I love the effect on, well, even like percussion sounds or vo or other vocal samples. You know, you can use it there or wherever you want. But, anyways, thank you for watching. And I don't know what the next time I'll make a video is. Maybe just you know, I'll find something else. Maybe on Serum. I'll probably show some things for Serum in my plugins VST thingy. And there you go.